Hi guys, let's work with interrupts without using hard libraries. So we will work with this project. So first we open main.c file and as we usually do, let's define a new function. Let's declare a new function. I call it external IT initialization. And I will define this function here. Let's open the reference manual next. So we have to work with the registers of this um, peripheral, XTI peripheral. So if we scroll down, show this diagram before. So in this page, on this page we have this register which is called interrupt mask register. So in order to enable a specific line we have to set the corresponding bit in this register. To be specific, we want to enable line 7, so we have to enable this bit. And pay attention to the word masked. So when the interrupt is masked, it means that it is disabled. When the interrupt is not masked, it means that it's enabled. Because you might encounter this word frequently when you read reference manuals or da data sheets. So let's set this bit in this register. So again we use CMC's library. So this struct uh, is was defined within within this uh, file. So we need IMR1. So we have to set line 7. So we use or bitwise operator to do that. And also let's open main.h file. So instead of 7, let's use this keyword. Okay. So, uh, also, uh, as you might remember, we have a rising and a falling edge. In order to configure rising and the falling edges, we have to work with these registers, which is called RRTSR1 and FTSR1. So, if we want to trigger the interrupt using the rising edge, we have to set corresponding bit in this register okay so we need to set this reg this bit in this register so let's go back to to our project so we have f at ftsr1 so we will we have the same uh, bits so we we, we do that similar in a similar way also we have this one to to trigger uh, interrupts in in falling edges so ah okay this is has to be rising edge this is falling edge okay we enabled this as i told you before we have to choose uh, which one which pin to connect to to the, to a line so we want to connect pb7 to line 7 uh, we can do that using um, using um, the following um, peripheral, which is called System Configuration Controller. So if we scroll down, we can find uh, these uh, registers. Uh, this register, which is uh, responsible for choosing the pin for external line 7 so if we write 000 to these bits we choose uh, port a pin 7 if i write 1 we get pb7 so we have to write 000 001 to this register okay 
so um, we need to work with this peripheral XT ISR so if we if you look we have several XTA, XTA SR registers so we have one two three and four so we need two but uh, in in C programming as you might remember we start counting from zero so basically we need one okay so we need to first reset these bits so we have three bits so we have to use and bitwise operator to do that so we have three bits which is basically 0b111 but instead of that of course we use hex version so 111 is equal to 7 so 0x7 then we have to shift by 12 bits as, as you see in this register so we shift by 12 bits then we can we have to set this bit so we can we have to use or bitwise operator so we have one and instead of 12 we keep 12 but we have to remove one's complement operator so we almost finish it but there's one thing I, I, as I told you um, there's a clock for each peripheral so we have to enable the clock in order to work with, with the registers with, with the peripherals so we have to enable um, a clock for this uh, register so we go to reset and call control so in order to find the corresponding register for for this peripheral we can just search for this keyword so as you see clock enable so if we scroll up we found the following register so this bit is responsible for enabling the clock in this in this peripheral so basically we have rcc we have a b b2 and r yep and we have to set the last bit okay basically we're almost finished So when initializing interrupts, there's one more thing that we have to do. If you open the data sheet, the reference manual, we have this uh, peripheral NVIC, which is basically defining all these uh, interrupt and exception vectors. But if you check the reference manual, there's no any uh, register uh, related to this uh, peripheral. So the thing is that this um, NVIC register, the, the peripheral is more generic. All Cortex M4 microcontrollers have same type of uh, NVIC uh, peripheral. So since this reference manual is specially designed for STM32 L4 microcontrollers, we don't have any registers specified to this uh, peripheral because this is more generic peripheral. That's why we have to work with another um, document which is called uh, SM32 Cortex M4 uh, Microcontrollers Programming Manual. You can find it in the description below. If we search for NVIC, we can find this. If we scroll down, you can find these um, registers. So basically, uh, in this uh, register we have these uh, interrupts so using these registers we have to enable uh, the, the interrupt that we need in our case we use XTI line 7 uh, there's no specific interrupt for line 7 but we have uh, 
interrupt uh, XTI interrupt that are responsible for lines between 5 and 9 so we have to enable this interrupt using this uh, registers but um, if we scroll up you can see that we have these uh, functions and that these functions is not the are not the functions uh, provided by HAL library this is more generic functions so if we go to um, our project within CMC's we have include and we have a core M4 microcontroller so if we open this so we can find the the definition of this function within within this uh, library as you see so if we open the declaration of this we have this uh, function that enables specific interrupt so instead of working with registers we can just uh, use these functions because they're more generic they're provided by CMC's um, libraries so I think it's totally fine if we use but if we don't if you don't want to use these functions of course you can use these registers but in my case I'm going to use these uh, functions so we have this um, next we need to find uh, the definition of this interrupt so if we open um, this uh, this file we can find different interrupts so we, I want to enable this interrupt okay there's there's one more thing that we have to do which is um, we have to set priority so we have this line so I want to set the priority zero so basically the priority is imagine that two interrupts get triggered at the same time so the processor has to choose which interrupt uh, to process that's why we have priorities so if uh, two interrupts get get triggered uh, uh, an interrupt that has a higher priority will be will be processed first first so that's why it's important to set priorities but right now we don't have much interrupts so I just set inter uh, priority zero for this line Okay, we finally finished um, um, initializing the interrupts. Next step, uh, we need to write our interrupt service routine or interrupt handler function. So we go to this file to get the name of the interrupt handler function that we need. So we need this um, handler. So we go to uh, this uh, it.s file and we will paste it paste it here so we will create a new we'll define a new function here next we need to open the reference manual in the xti peripheral we have the following register which is called pending register one which is basically shows which uh, interrupts uh, acc accurate so we have to check line 7 so we have to read the status of this bit we have to get the value of the specific bit so we use end bitwise operator so we have just a one bit 0b1 and of course I use hex version of it then we have to shift left by seven bits but again I'm going to use the following and define it name of the button so if it is not if if this is true 
if this bit is set we have to run this code so we can remove it within the while loop and paste it here there, there's one more thing that we have to do we have to clear this bit we can we can clear this bit by writing one to to the bit this bit is cleared by writing one to this bit so basically we have to do the following operation equals it might sound weird because uh, at this point we checked whether this bad bit is set or not and if it is set we have to again write one to this bit but by writing one uh, we just clear this bit if we remove this line this function will be called uh, continuously even uh, we we handle the interrupt imagine that someone presses the button we're inside of it we run this part of the code after exiting uh, this function will be called again because we didn't clear the bit so this is really really important that you that you understand it because when we work with interrupts you have to do it with with all with other types of interrupts okay after that we we run the code to check the state of the button and based on that we control the LED so this part of the code we wrote, we wrote it before so finally let's run our code let's resume so if you press the button you have to see LED light